Uh, this is a uh, Karcher pressure washer and the engine used on this piece of equipment is a uh, Honda GC190 single cylinder four stroke engine and in this video I am going to show you how to check the uh, kill switch to see if it's operating correctly. Uh, if you have an engine that uh, isn't producing any spark you can use this method to check the kill switch to uh, see if the uh, source of the problem um, is the switch itself. Uh, on this engine, the kill switch is located here in the front of the engine. You can see it has two settings, off and on. These are the uh, tools I'll be using to check the uh, kill switch. Um, this is a Syntec digital multimeter. I'll be using the ohm function set to 200 to check the switch for continuity. Um, this is a uh, six point deep socket, 10 millimeter. Uh, it's a Pittsburgh brand. This is a Pittsburgh uh, quarter inch drive ratchet. And this is a Pittsburgh four inch, uh, quarter inch extension. Before I actually uh, test the switch, I want to show you what it looks like in a uh, electrical schematic. Uh, this is your switch here. Where it actually connects to the engine, it's actually grounded to the engine and that's represented by this line here which goes to this ground symbol right here. Um, there's a wire coming out of the switch which goes to the ignition system. Uh, this is a connector and that's represented by this line here and connector here. Uh, when the switch is in the on position, the switch is open which means it doesn't allow current to flow through this circuit here. And in the off position what it's doing is it's grounding out the ignition system and that's represented by this straight line from the connector here to ground. The way that I'm going to check this uh, ignition switch is I'm going to take my ohm meter, I'm going to place a lead here and a lead here, and it doesn't matter which lead, it can, you know, it can be positive here, negative here, or vice versa. And I'm going to check for uh, continuity, which means I'm just going to check to see if current's flowing or not flowing. When the switch is in the on or run position, I shouldn't have any current flow. And when the switch is in the off position, I should have current flow from the meter through the lead through the switch and back to the meter. Also when I'm, when I'm checking my ignition switch uh, when it's in the off position I'm also going to look for high resistance on the meter. If I get a high resistance reading it could mean, the, mean that the contacts within the switch are uh, dirty and not making good contact and that would mean the switch is bad or it could mean that I'm not making good contact with my meter to lead so that would be something that I would need to check and verify. Before you uh, actually test your ignition switch, um, take your meter and um, let's see how it actually behaves before it's connected to the circuit. Uh, turn, it, turn your meter on. I've got the ohm meter set to the 200 range. Um, what it means here, uh, it displays a 1 which means infinite resistance. That means that current can't flow from the meter through the leads and back to the meter and the reason that is is because there's no circuit connecting this lead to this lead. If I connect the leads together, it should drop down to pretty close to zero. Um, it's 0.4. I'm going to try and find a range on the ohm meter where it will drop to zero. I'm going to bump this up to 20k. And uh, there it goes to zero. So when the leads aren't connected, I should get one. And when they're connected, it should drop to zero. Okay. So now um, when I take my leads and I connect it to my circuit um, to test my ignition switch, when the switch is in the on or run position, I should get a 1 on the, on the meter, which means infinite resistance because current can't flow through the switch because the switch is open. And when I connect the leads when the switch is in the off position, it would be the same as, um, it should be the same as connecting the leads together. I should get a number that's uh, 0, 0, 0. If I do get a high resistance um, when the switch is in the off position, it could mean that the contacts within the switch are bad, which would mean I need a new switch, or it could mean that the contacts where I'm connecting the leads is not good, so I would need to um, check that and make sure that's not the case. Uh, to get to the wire on my um, uh, ignition uh, on and off switch, I need to remove this shroud and this uh, pull, pull cord uh, starter recoil assembly. They're both held on by these three, three nuts, one here, one here, and one over here, so I need to remove those.
And with the nuts removed, I can remove this recoil assembly, set it aside, and then pull off this plastic shroud. And there is the wire for my um, on and off switch, so I just need to connect, disconnect that so we can measure it with the measure the switch with the meter. Okay, so my switch is in the on position, so the switch is open. Um, when I connect the meter to the, uh, I'm going to connect a lead to this wire and the other lead to ground. I should still get a one here in the meter, which means infinite resistance, which means current can't flow through the switch. So I'm going to connect my my red lead to the switch or the wire here. Hopefully it will stay, and then I'm going to connect this negative lead to ground. I'm just going to touch it here to a, a metal part of the, the uh, engine, and you can see um, it's still zero. It's still one, which means infinite resistance. Now, when I switch this uh, ignition switch to off, it will close the switch, and I should uh, basically I should get a zero across the um, meter, which means current is allowed to flow, and there's not a a, a significant amount of resistance. And there you go, zero zero. So the switch is good. Um, if the you know if this if the meter stayed one um, in both switch settings, then definitely need to replace your switch. Or if you get a high resistance in the off position, then you've got either bad contacts in the switch or you're not making good contact with your leads. But it's most likely probably the switch. Oh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.